a mobster ends up in way over his head after he accidentally walks into the wrong kind of laundromat. filmmaker. I am a cinematographer primarily and I evolved into more creative producing which was born out of a desire to be able to create the kinds of projects I wanted to shoot. So my latest project is an original short film called Easy Money and this was a film that was actually loosely inspired by the pandemic because I, I love humor and I love being able to laugh at uncomfortable things. And for me, this film was in part about making fun of all of the bad feelings that this, that this year has thrown at us. Easy money, they flip a dime once in a while. I'll take Having been really active working on films and being on set for the last couple of years, it was so strange but also weirdly relaxing to have it all shut down by the pandemic and it was frustrating because I really wanted to get back to work because I love making movies and I guess after staying at home so long I really really wanted to create something and this film just, it came out and it seemed like the perfect fit. It was definitely a struggle trying to produce a film during the pandemic because, I mean, first and foremost, I want to keep the cast and crew safe, and even beyond that, I want to make sure that everybody not only is safe, but feels safe and comfortable about being on set because I know that everybody has different comfort levels in terms of you know what they are and aren't willing to do with the pandemic and so I was determined to learn about what all of the rules and guidelines were. A lot of it is common sense when you think about just reminding people to clean up or wear a mask but it's really hard to remember to keep track of all that stuff and do your job at the same time if you're trying to do a complicated job on a busy film set. And so I took this COVID compliance course online. It was a webinar and they give you a certificate. A lot of it is just making sure that you have a clean environment to work in and that people are remaining appropriately distant, wearing masks you know, remembering to clean and sanitize equipment. And then also just trying to, I was also trying to keep the crew small where possible. And that was also a bit of a difficulty because there were less people than I would have liked to have normally. But, and, and ha having less hands available to, you know, set up lights, put up set decoration, that definitely slowed us down. But I think it was the smartest choice just to keep everybody safe, especially since it was a, a fairly tight location being in a laundromat. So I really didn't want more people than absolutely necessary. They flip a dime once in a while. I'll tell you it's this time. One step up, one step back. One of the biggest obstacles to overcome with this project was finding a laundromat that would let us shoot there, let alone a laundromat that would let us shoot there during a pandemic, even if we were renting the space. And I spent a lot of time calling various laundromats and trying to find a place, and I really lucked out. I found a place that the owner and his wife were happy to let us shoot there, and they were very welcoming. And I was constantly worried, though, that what with the new quarantine restrictions and just knowing how and, and, have, and seeing how different people react to the pandemic, I was just constantly worried that something might happen that might cancel our shoot, whether it was some kind of new strict lockdown restriction, or even if just the owners of the laundromat weren't comfortable with the idea anymore. And so one of the most memorable moments, I think, for me was just getting on set and when uh, when the owner showed up right before closing time because we were going to shoot from basically when they closed to when they opened the next morning when he showed up and was like oh yeah hey you're shooting today how's it going and in my head i was just like oh good it's still on and after that and i was just thinking okay after after this 
After this, everything's gonna be easy. And of course it's not, but you know, after, after that, like that was probably just the biggest weight off my shoulders because any other fire that pops up on a set, I can handle it. But the, the uncertainty of something that may or may not be happening or that could come crashing down around you at any moment, that's the worst kind of stress. Everything else I can deal with. <laughs> As bleak as things have looked throughout the pandemic, just worrying about when is the industry going to be up and running? When am I going to be working again? When is life going to return to any semblance of normal? It was optimistic because for this, trying to shoot something during a pandemic and not only make a movie, but make sure that everybody was safe, that was a huge challenge. That was an obstacle. That was something I'd never done before. And now taking all of the steps to do it, I feel like not only have I learned, hey, this is, this is doable, but I've also learned how I can do it better next time.